Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Fates with me, Get Daved. Let's have some support conversations, shall we? Jacob wants to talk. Oh yeah, tea. I've had a lot of fun making tea with you. Oh, is he coming clean? That's the secret. <laughs> That's nice that Corrin's having a laugh about it. But you did lie. Yay! Well, good, that's your job. Oh boy. Boy, they're... They're, they're making the move. Yeah, nut up. Oh my. <laughs> Yay, canning! She really likes farming. <laughs> yeah! She's really into vegetables, my goodness. That's right. Being locked in that tower maybe uh, didn't make her farm tough. She stole them. No. Do you want to live there? Yep. Is she trying to prove something now? I vote stew. Oh, she's getting uh, maternal. Wow, most of you had a really big fight, or a big, like, big mission. PTSD. You got no memories. Yep, I knew it. Well, I'm glad you ended up in the palace.
Hmm. Of course, the people who still have loving parents, they're the real winners in this. Because, I mean, Corrin's not doesn't exactly have the best story either here. And then I finally met my real mother. But because of that... Yeah, there's the real secret. There will always be things you do not have. Uh-oh. She's come for trouble. Uh-oh. <laughs> Want to fix that? Hmm. They don't show dirt. Maybe you'll like it. being manipulative. Gotta figure out a trade. You could respect her boundaries. But forget that. Hmm. I'm just broing out over here. <laughs> I kind of wish that you got like small stat bonuses from these sorts of things if they like have characters training together or whatever. Yeah, you are a glass half full kind of guy. And half full of magic. Yeah, what did you just say? They stonewall a lot. Eh, I feel like that's a functional relationship for them. Doing. Hmm. Interesting. She's making a friendship bracelet. She's a knitter. And this guy's into scarves. I think there's a happy balance to be struck here.
Yay! There we go. That one's just a couple people having fun. All right. You may rely on me. Might as well take a look at our options here. Ooh. Buy quality Norian weapons. I believe I shall. Welcome. Ooh. Crazy. I'm not sure I like all these crazy debuffs. I wonder if we upgrade it if that gets negated. Pretty crazy stuff available, honestly. Effective against beasts. So if we came across Xander again. Oh man, there's too many things available. Fimbul Victor. That sounds made up. one up just because we might be able to switch Orochi to that Thanks and I like the sounds of that. Beyond that, I'm going to generally try to rely on the game providing me with the equipment I need. Living off the land, so to speak. Well, on with the story, I think. Hmm. Hors d'oeuvres. They sound delicious. Yago, everybody. Oh. Mm. Who's clearly not some sort of person manipulating the king. Maybe the king of Vala? That's a Nankos, that's my guess right now. Why, yes. By which I mean I rigged it. She really liked, I mean, really liked Corin. Hmm. This is going. I'm just thinking of this war of mine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Worse, how? Yeah, you sound like you're totally not trying to convince yourself. Hey. 
Okay, well that's kind of a contradiction. Father. I appreciate the sentiment that. Well, okay. Nori into the bone. <laughs> I'd like to revise my Yago as a Nanko statement. <laughs> Father? Bet you regret not siding with me. He's totally gonna join next time. Excuse me. A completely wonderful person. Oh, it's totally a Narcos. <gasps> or maybe it is Yago. I don't yes. know. Hmm. When I fought her, she said there was an invisible enemy we should be fighting. Then execute him for treason. What? <clears throat> Listen. Oh, chill out, Xander. You have to betray one of them. I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh goodness, don't do it. Hmm? He's coming for me. Well, I think there's going to be an awkward confrontation in the near future. Well. True. Why are we going here? Okay. Wait. Yay. <coughs> eh. In a while. Oh, I remember you from Birthright. You were uh, really huh? great. Oh boy. You wouldn't follow that order. He's like the boy who was in love with Corrin his whole life. Oh, don't be like that. What? <laughs> oh no. Look, Azura and I, we just talk more easily, okay? She's not trying to kill me. Ugh, been there, buddy. Well, for one of us. But seriously, at least Sakura is really powerful, so you're probably gonna get cut. Why? Oh wow! Yay! That's all there is to it. Well. Oh, I ran away. Nice. All right, I like the way you think. No. All right then. Yeah, she just went through the effort of running away. Oh, 
police. Not to mention a bunch of Hoshidans you don't really care about, but they're pretty tough too. That's an exaggeration, but thank you for coming. We kill a lot of people. Yay! Understood. Look, if Sakura's fighting and Motsu's fighting, let's just be real. setting up some tragedy. Woo! Yay! Ready for an adventure? I am! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy! Uh, okay. <laughs> Landed on a bit thick now. Lady Elise! Oh, great. We got Guy Smiley here. Are you from Awakening as well? Hmm. Maybe. She looks a bit more different than I thought, though. <laughs> well, huh? three more. You know. Yay! It's team up time. All right, that's gonna get old. Nice. Oh no! <laughs> Your backup system's backup system failed. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, I mean. Probably will come to that. You know it. So she's a All troubadour, right. I think, which means she's like Sakura but mounted. So usually that means superior mobility. Man, plot dump. Although there was some some discussion that okay we have to take them that she had the memory wiping so maybe that's a thing I mean as much as it pains me I think we have to cut Orochi I'd like to get Selena in here, mostly for sentimentality, although she was quite powerful if memory serves. Kind of redundant, though. Okay, gotta get the family in there. We need more dragon veiners. Why, why the pine branch? I mean, I guess it's really str I guess her accuracy is pretty high. She's very skilled. Fine, whatever. And the only other thing is to make sure we have some terrible items on hand. And Jacopo. He's got the men staff if he needs a bit more firepower. Well, we'll just burn through this one, I guess. All right, and we'll, we'll play a turn. <laughs> Yay! Oh, we get to visit places. Okay. 
I, I don't know if that's a great idea. Okay, I have no idea what this are. This is. This is a new mechanic. Okay, so the, really for softening up large amounts of units. Okay. Good thing I cut my only mage. Kind of counting on getting Sakura into a more varied class at some point. Eh, she'll do. Her magic stat's really good. I wonder if they can nuke us right back. Or the tide. Alright, and really quickly. Okay, there's only one faction, so I'm gonna assume that they're probably not gonna visit these houses. Sometimes that can happen. Okay, that's fine. What? Yeah. Now can I have money? All right, one visitation complete. And we've got a, you know, tough unit ready to bottleneck them. Although that's maybe not as good as I was hoping for. I see. Awesome. Physics staff is really, really good. I just need to ration it, basically. Do I have to break through these partitions? Hmm. Well, onward. ridiculous, by the way. As I mentioned, often you can't level up past 20, but Azura's got a special class that's an exception to that. All right, let's hope for a crit. Oh well. Yet another victory. No big. sure if I have to bother guarding that flank with another unit. Let's just check one thing here. Kind of wanted to know who could uh, have supports with her, but two of you can guard that side. Send Sakura to help them out. Oh goodness. All right, make them make the next move. All right, everybody, let's see what happens. I do like the ultra heroic voice. I'm just gonna wait for him to call someone an evildoer. That's alright, I actually kinda want them to take down these partitions, so that's all well and good. Hmm. 
wonder if Aletha knows any of these people. She'll probably have to get close to have a talk option. Corrin probably won't have one. Lance on Lance is a break even. Oh, now I'm hungry. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Oh, never mind. I can only shoot one area. Well, let's see what happens. Really? Well, watch his, watch his flank. I'll take one more turn here just because there was a lot of exposition at the beginning. We'll finish this one up. For those concerned about the video link. Uh, let's do this. Since he only has one hit point, we can kind of attack with anything, even an umbrella. I did it. All right. Mm, barely. Uh, we'll do this for the support. Never mind. I'm just gonna bottleneck. Yeah, we'll take the low damage option. I wish a bar over here. Uh, wait, a boro is here. Interesting. Sword is fantastic. That's a real treat, everybody. My goodness. What's a guy gotta do to get some DPS around here? I guess we're doing like later level advanced classes, but we're also pretty close to having some of our units promote. There we go. Yeah, he'll go down. We'll teach them a lesson. Here I come. Oh darn it. If Rinka had hit, he would have gone down Fairly before well. the counterattack came. To me. Yay, defense. We'll be using that. Just check their items real quick. They're both short range. We're actually going to go about it this way. Boro is going to be our new bottleneck because she is way better suited to that role. Sure. Let's see if we can get the crit. Looks like we have no choice. Oh, that's it! <gasps> Yay! <laughs> nice stats, but all right. And finally, this contingent. Oh, I forgot she can use tomes. Well, that's fantastic. This is similar to one of my favorite classes of all time, so huzzah! We also probably should have moved Kagero first, but too late now. We'll just dust this guy on the next turn. Or, you know, break the partition so he can come after us. We have to be prudent. The enemies are getting kind of strong. To 
defend yourself with your parasol. Oh my goodness. That's okay with me. Come on, dodge. Advantage villager. Big money. I'll take it. Five stats is barely, but technically below average for her, which is kind of bonkers to think about. Let's get to it. So yeah, well, room riders typically have pretty high defense as well. And she's basically an advanced Wyvern Rider class. Alright, I'm going to end this one here. In the next episode, we uh, start hammering through this fairly large map. See you there, everybody.